So I'm delighted to offer some thoughts in support of this conference in Amman, Jordan, uh, put on by the Royal Institute for Interfaith Studies and the uh, Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network with uh, His Royal Highness Hassan, El Hassan bin Talal and with Evelyn Lindner. As a background to what I wanna talk about, just to take note that over decades, some governments and revolutionary groups and, and that uh, have been more willing to turn to mediators, professional peace helpers for help in taking the violence out of their conflicts. These are usually very complicated situations uh, and often seemingly hopeless situations, but these peace helpers um, like William Urey, Jean-Paul Lederach, and so many others, put an emphasis on faith in the possibility, in that sense that there's no way of knowing when um, peace uh, or the beginnings of peace and the ending of violence, when or where or who is gonna open the door, but there's always a possibility of that door opening. So I wanna use that as a background to the main thing I wanna focus on, which is uh, global overheating and climate destabilization. Um, these are much more complex uh, in that they involve uh, a myriad of industries, governments, and a very special case of industry, the fossil fuel industries that are kind of an infrastructure to so many other industries. They provide the energy with which all the rest is possible. Um, now, to say, to acknowledge about the fossil fuel folks, they have deliberately deceived and in, to the purpose of immobilizing efforts to forestall the worst effects of climate change. Um, and as a result, the a number of deaths um, likely to happen will uh, exceed those caused by Hitler, Stalin, and Pol Pot put together. So this is uh, mass killing without weapons. Um, and so it's easy to um, fall into say, to marginalizing the fossil fuel people as not welcome at the table to figure out what to do next. Uh, Yuri and Lederach and, and the others uh, among peace helpers uh, really underscore it's important to, it's essential to include everyone in working things out. Uh, so that includes the fossil fuel people. Um, and Yuri has this wonderful concept. It's not just the two sides, for instance, environmentalists and fossil fuel folks. It's what he calls the third side which is everyone who's impacted, everyone who's witnessing, anyone who has been through such things and worked it through, uh, anyone who's respected, admired, and trusted by the parties, all must be gathered together <clears throat> and brought to bear in the working through of this. So ours is a very big world of the third side. We're a world of um, many, very different cultures, um, 193 countries, tens of thousands of tribes and ethnicities. And within them, many different occupations all have different perspectives on things, different institutions and different classes. And classes have different existential experiences of what, of what it is to be a human in terms of living, to be human is to live with vulnerability, or to be human is to live with agency. Um, so this is a time uh, for everyone being able to harvest all the knowledge, the wisdom, the, the skills and so on, the experiences and the understandings of all of this third side um, and to include all of us in working through what's happening.